Bristol. And Sam Bedlow getting this contest underway. Laid back initially by Dan Thomas, who's wearing seven today for the Bears, wearing three. Familiar figure of John Arfoa. And immediately, Quinn's offside in midfield. Bristol with this earliest of early penalties. Randall, scrum half today. There he is again, zipping around and... Purdy, oh, away quickly and nicely. Alapati Leua setting off the captain, Oluatua, and what about that for Luke Morahan? That's what Bristol are doing this season. That is magnificent rugby. Lovely interplay, John Arfoa pulling the ball back, just a bit of footwork there. And then we all think the ball's going to go back on the inside, but Morahan stays on the outside and great finish. And I don't know what that big yellow shiny thing is in the sky, but this Bristol team seems to really like it. What a sensational start from Bristol. So Quinns with a real opportunity and Kerr having a look down that blind side. Oh, too easy. Brilliant. And Kerr just makes it a three on two. Very simple. Morris cuts the line on him. And then the outside defender, you see Sheedy has to stay on care. Outside defender's thinking, well, if I step in, the ball goes across the face. If I stay out, that's what happens. Great score. Randall, Sheedy again, Quinn's up very quickly. And then Bedlow looking for some space around that outside. Purdy herring after it. Where's the bounce of the ball going? Not quite Bristol's way. It's touchdown, but I'm sure that Purdy knocked that on in the process. I think they might have to look at it. Whose hand is it? This is the angle that'll tell us. It's knocked out of his hands, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a try. So nothing to overrule on Nothing to overrule. Thank you. He catches it, but your player's the one that dislodges it. So right. how's that different than when a shoulder dislodges the ball or Cobus Reinach dislodged the ball on Friday night against Worcester? Bristol's line out working at 100% efficiency. Arfoa to Capon, trying to wrestle his way over. All oh, that ball could have gone anywhere. It's still oh, Bristol's to play with, though. Vui, interested, scores. Oh, the ambition that Bristol are playing with, not bothering with the penalties, only operating in tries at the moment. Did really well to get off the line, make sure he's not bundled into touch as the Bristol defence managed, and then just, he's going to go in yeah, touch, so he might as well that throw that. Way, yeah. And then the pickup's good. And then makes the secondary placement. Glenn Young has been the first choice on most of the throws, and he is again. Saunders, Smith, it's an opportunity opening up here, and Morris, if he can find Ibitoye, it really will be. No one from that range stops the skating Gabriel Ibitoye. But this is easy for a man of his pace. Look how narrow they make the Bristol Bears defence. And as a result, although the tackle's made on Morris, it's given too much for Piatau, who's got to stay and protect that channel. Smith, prominent since half-time. And then Morris and now Saili pinning his ears back. He's got Dombrant to the right hand side. Dombrant scores. Oh, he's barreled his way over. It will be checked. Seeing it on the first occasion. Does well, Saili, doesn't he? And he chucks it out the front of his hand, does he? That's forward. Forward to Street. Dombrand does really well, lift those legs up, make sure he gets it down, doesn't matter if you hit the flag. Yes, forward pass. He's going to come out of the, the front of his hand. It comes out the front of the hand. And the player's yeah. in front of him when he catches it anyway, so it has to be a man is it. So forward pass, no try, and Laurie, that's time, yep. Yeah. Well, Paul Gustard's Harlequins turned up late. Got Bristol 28, Harlequins 15.